Hey guys, what's going on? Sherman here. It's been a while since I've done an unboxing, but I got this new knife in the mail, and it's a fairly new knife anyway. I just thought I'd come out here, turn the camera on, and do a quick unpackaging. I already took it out of the initial packaging because I wasn't quite sure what it was. <laughs> the packaging wasn't real to script, so I opened it up and I'm like, oh, it's my knife. Alright, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. As you can see, it is a Boker Plus knife. Go ahead and cut it open. So I just wanted to give you guys my first, my very first impressions. Like I said, it's been a while since so I've done these, and you guys seem to like these videos. See what my very first impressions are. All right, here we go. It's got the magnetically closed box. I always loved Boker's, Boker Plus's boxes. All right, and there it is. This is the Decade Edition Mini Slick. Probably gave it away by opening it with my Mini Slick. You guys look at that. The Decade Edition knives are a line of knives Boker put out that they did with a few of their models. Basically they do limited production runs of a couple of their most popular models. Uh, they have done one with the Nano, the Gnome, a uh, couple other ones I think, and then this one of course. Where basically what they do is they uh, satin do the blade a uh, satin finish or polish and do carbon fiber scales. This thing is really, really sweet. I love my original Mini Slick. Rob Amsler. Shit, you guys. So there's the... Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. You can see. So there is my TIE Survival Modified original Boker Mini Slick on the top. That was the original bead blasted titanium scales. And then the bottom is the new Decade Edition with the carbon fiber. Pretty sweet, if I do say so myself. I love this knife. I'm a big fan of the Mini Slick just because I love little fixed blades. Uh, a lot of people aren't a big fan of this knife. They like the look of it, but don't like carrying it. I like both. Um, I find it to be very useful. The sheath it came with actually feels a little bit higher quality than the sheath on my old Slick. Let's see. Uh, retention is much, much tighter on this one. Actually, it's a little too tight. It's going to really scratch up that carbon fiber. I'll, uh, I have a heat gun, so I'll probably heat that up. Or maybe it'll wear in over time. I don't know. But you guys, some more close up look in the sheath. Off the side. Very positive retention on that sheath. It's going to vary though. Some people said their retention, uh, their sheath is too loose. Let's finish on that. Kind of a rough, I did a rough job on that grinding, but it's all right. I may try to uh, hand polish it myself. See the Amsler knives. I always love the blade shape. The blade shape on the Mini Slick feels pretty sharp. Some people were complaining about them not being very sharp. This one seems to be pretty sharp, very pointy. The carbon fiber scales. This is real, the real deal carbon fiber. I don't know if it's. I don't think it's the laminate over the G10, like Spider Code does. I'm looking. It looks to be 100% carbon fiber. I could be wrong though. Uh, it's very smooth. Some people were saying that it was kind of rough. Uh, this one is very, very smooth. Feels really good. Love the satin finish as opposed to the original bead blast finish that they did or kind of a kind of a titanium nitride stone wash finish that they did. Uh, it's cool. This one also comes with the lanyard with the titanium bead that is genuine titanium. Uh, these are all numbered. They're all done in Batches of 600. <laughs> I got 420. So people are going to get a good kick out of that. <laughs> Sherman's a pothead. He got 420. Which I've actually never smoked marijuana. But anyway. <laughs> enough of that. Got the bottom here. Hold on a second. Let's get a read. Also, the one thing that's majorly different about the Decade Editions is that they are made with... VG10 steel as opposed to the original 440C. 
So you're really getting a really good value with this knife, actually. Um, this only cost me on Amazon. I got a gift card for my birthday for Amazon, so I looked on there and just happened to find this. I did not think that I would find it. Just kind of looked out of curiosity. And they had it on Amazon for, I believe, $56, somewhere around there, $54, $56. And that's about how much it is on, like, Blade HQ. So, yeah, definitely go check it out. If you're, if you're a fan of the Mini Slick, this is definitely worth checking out to add to your collection. That's definitely why I wanted to pick it up, because I'm a big fan of the original Slick uh, that Boker put out. And I'm just a fan of Rob's work. And this is just a really, really sexy looking design. Really good complement between the dark carbon fiber and then the satin, almost polished blade. Looks really good. Yeah, definitely worth checking out in my opinion, guys. The fit and finish is pretty good. You know, it's it's what you can expect. It's it's Chinese made. It's Boker Plus. It's a, a Chinese made knife. It's not top of the line or anything like that. But it's what you can expect from Boker Plus. It, it's it's good quality, in my opinion. Not great, but good. <laughs> it's kind of one of those good enough quality. But yeah, feels pretty good. If you're not used to the slick, it's going to seem kind of uncomfortable. I just kind of deal with it just because I like the design. You know, if I want comfort, I'll carry an Essie. This thing is just too wicked looking to the, not to carry it. So I, I just kind of deal with the few jagged edges every here, you know, here and there. But yeah, guys, I recommend checking it out. If you've never owned the Mini Slick, if you're on the fence about the design, um, I recommend checking this one out first. Just because it's a little bit sexier looking, in my opinion. And like I said, VG10 and carbon fiber for around 50-something bucks. That's a great value. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this short little unboxing slash initial overview. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. Stay sharp and God bless. Sherman 614. Peace.